Hey, 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 it is Evelyn of the Evelyn Inc. here, and I am back with another video. And this video is a lot less like five ways to do this or six reasons to this, but I kind of want to just walk you through what something I've done recently that I think that if you are in business, if you're a creative, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're an influencer, that I think this would be beneficial to you as it was to me. So this is like old school Evelyn Inc. I'm giving you natural chocolate vibes. I'm giving you let's just chat it up. Let's just have a conversation. I mean, I do have some points that I want to remember because like I said, I, va I always value your time. There's so many videos to watch. There's so many podcasts to listen to. There's so many blogs to read and articles and live streams to tune into that I really wanna make sure that every time I come on here, that even if I'm just sharing an experience, that it's still something that you could get value out of. So here I am with my little index card. If y'all ever wanna know the process of how I do my videos, like not the technical part, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of um, tutorials on YouTube about lights and I'm sitting in front of a window and all that kind of stuff and camera angles and what camera I use. But like my creative process to create videos and how I'm able to come up with topics, um, then let me know. Anyway, so basically what was happening to me is you guys know I have two sides to my business life. I have my chef evelyn side and then i have the evelyn ink side and inside of the chef evelyn side there's about three sides in there so there's the side that works with corporations and businesses there's the side that is like coaching and consulting to other chefs and corporate um people who want to become culinary entrepreneurs and then there's the front facing side which is like b to c right and then in evelyn ink it was just mainly coaching and um that kind of thing and so i'm not gonna lie i got to the point where i was feeling a little overwhelmed i was feeling a little a little overwhelmed which is a lie i was feeling a lot overwhelmed for the volume do i have chips i i just filmed another video and it had chips in it and i just realized that the, like evelyn ink calls it flavor dust i think i just have flavor dust as i just filmed this whole part i'm not even going to edit this part out because this is real life so I was becoming increasingly overwhelmed at the sheer volume of ideas and things that I wanted to do. And if you're anything like me, y'all know if you've been rocking with me for any amount of time, I have a stationary addiction. And I know I'm all over the place, but I promise you I'm going somewhere. And so I've been on stationary probation for several years now, which means I'm not allowed to buy stationary. Let me get back to the point, okay? So I was getting extremely overwhelmed by the the volume of ideas that i had and some people will think that's a good thing it's a good thing until you can't sleep at night it's a good thing until you feel like you're always in a rush to try to get this these ideas out it's a good thing until you're moving so fast that you're probably not producing the best quality thing that you could that you know that you could even if other people think that it's amazing and um when you're feeling like you know you got more ideas than you got hours okay and so i just i i had reached a point recently where i was like you know what y'all can have this okay like i'm tired and here's the thing it's not that i had like crazy clients or anything like that like i have amazing clients i have an amazing following an amazing community i have you know I, i'm in my own coaching programs you know because like how you be co you a coach but you don't get coaching anyway so and like i love it i i have always wanted to be an entrepreneur i started my first business when i was 15 years old i've always even when i was in corporate was making money on the side some kind of way whether it was selling cakes you know what i'm saying or catering or doing something and you know this year one of the things i wanted to do was uh, open myself up to using all of my skills and just to see where that took me well where it took me wasn't to overwhelm okay <laughs> it took it took me into overwhelm to be quite honest and i was like okay and so what i had to do per the title of this video is i had to marie kondo my business and so i had to really sit down and take inventory of 
here's everything that I'm currently doing. Here's everything that I'm trying to do in addition to all that I'm that I'm currently doing. And I kind of laid everything out. So I basically took three days off, like very impromptu. I like no social media, no YouTube, no um, computer except for to pull up the files, like no, um, just nothing, no work, right? I took three days. And I just let my mind process. I spent some time in prayer. I spent some time in quiet time. And I was like, okay, how did we get here? And I think as a creative, and I think a lot of you will be able to relate to me with this, is that when you you learn business, you realize that you pretty much can turn anything into a business. Once you know that it doesn't matter what the thing is, that the basic business principles are the same no matter what the industry is. Now, there are some industry specific expertise that you know you have from different industry to different industry, but business is business, right? And so it doesn't matter if you're selling a product or a service, business is business, which is why I can do coaching for people in multiple industries, right? And so what I realized is when when you when you get into when you've gotten to that point, you realize you can monetize anything. And if you're not careful, you will slip into because I can monetize everything, I'm going to monetize everything. And I think for me, that became really, really stressful. Um, it just made me want to quit it all. And you guys know, I've been Chef Evelyn for the moment I came on YouTube, right? So I don't remember which channel I started first. I don't remember if I started this channel first and then my Chef Evelyn channel or started that channel, then started this channel, right? And what was happening was I was monetizing everything. So I was making money um, doing this, doing that. Like er everything that I did online for the most part was a revenue generating activity. And most people were like, girl, that's bombs. It is until you have all of these moving pieces, right? And because I do a lot of automation, I do a lot of systems, I do a lot of processes, you know, there's there's a lot on the back end that people don't see, that a lot of people don't have um, to maintain, to optimize, to do all of that. And I'm just going to tell you, I I was burnt out. Like, and I talk about self-care. And so I had to, like, my strategy for self-care was I need to Marie Kondo my business. And so I basically just got laid everything out and was like, what, let's just lay it all out and let's just look at what, what you got, what you're trying to do, what you've done. And what sparks joy in her in her process, and what doesn't? And I realized there were some things that I were that I was doing because they were super profitable, um, but they didn't spark joy, or the process to get me there didn't spark joy, or the the administrative work that it took to maintain that leg of my business didn't spark joy, and. So what I decided to do was I decided to take a lot of stuff off the table. Um, and it's one of those things where if it comes to me organically um, in some of these areas, then I I would love to do them. But as far as building an entire leg of my business, entire arm of my business, an entire, entire like customer path, funnel lead generation relationship nurturing blah 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 like you know I just didn't want I didn't want to do that for all of these different things and I realized that as a creative I didn't leave myself space for being creative as a hobby as an outlet the way I had when I first started this journey that I had a monetizable side and then I had a non-monetizable side or or a side that I did for fun and if it happened to earn money fantastic and so I've kind of really I've really really trimmed down what I've done and um, realized that everything doesn't have to be monetizable you know I heard um, a fairly popular she's not an Instagrammer but I guess she's like a business coach she's an influencer and I won't say her name say that she wanted to monetize every single part of her life and I, I, you know, she's married, she's a mother, she's in business, you know, and I thought to myself, then you'll never be off. 
You'll you'll never you'll never have an off moment. If you if you are monetizing every single thing, when do, would you have downtime? And maybe that was me projecting my exhaustion on her. But when I heard her say that, I was like, sis, I I, I don't know her personally, but I was like, when I heard her when I heard that she had said that, I was like, sis. Trust and believe as somebody who has already gone down that path because you get so excited like, oh, I can monetize that and I can monetize that and I can monetize that. You don't want to do it. And, you know, I think about the phrase all money ain't good money. And it's not. Here's the thing. None of it was stressful. None of it was bad. And if y'all know me, none of it. I mean, all of it was above board and great. And people would be like, girl, you want to get that up? Yeah, I do. Um And so I really wanted to get back to the things where I feel like I am in my zone of genius and that I enjoy and that's beneficial to other people. So I had to make sure that whatever I was doing, it had to fit those three boxes that I feel like this is an area that, you know, like I'm it, like I'm the bomb in this area. I also feel like it had to be really worth monetizing and then it also had to be valuable to people on the receiving end and so yeah I mean I'm I'm not going to go into all the details of like what I took out and what I'm adding in and how I'm changing it right um if you follow me on the chef Evelyn site you're going to see some of those changes um and me just getting really back to Evelyn and why I wanted to be an entrepreneur in the first place and uh, how I got here and if you've been following me at least since last December when I did vlogmas I think I did a video on like what I actually do for a living and girl a lot of that's coming out (laughs) a lot of that's coming out um or it's getting repackaged and rebranded so I think um in addition to you know, really laying everything out the way Marie Kondo says with your stuff, getting rid of the things that don't spark joy, even if they're still in good condition, even if they're, you know, if it still fits, like there are things that in my life and in my business that I still feel like I'm really good at and that I really enjoy that I think other people do better. And so, um, And I always think there's room. I don't believe in competition. I believe that everybody relates to people differently. And so there's plenty of room. But I feel like there are people that were in spaces that I was trying to be in or that I was in that could do a much better job than me. And and not just skill-wise, just because it's their passionate zone of genius. And I was doing it because I knew that I could. And so also with that, I think I wanted to get back to the space and I was having this conversation with my accountability partner, um, my business accountability partner, that I want to get back to getting to a space where I can give freely and not feel like, "Mm, I'm not going to give that. That's too much. I should charge for that. Because what I told her, both of us are believers. And, you know, if you're not a believer, this part may not apply to you, is that the system that I operate on and the kingdom that I operate in is sowing, then reaping. And so you know, in this influencer, coaching, entrepreneur, buzzword culture that we're in right now, which is amazingly beautiful and then sometimes has not so pretty size, it's this notion of I'm not going to give you anything until you pay me. And I've never been that far, but I definitely feel like that I put in a huge filter of I'm not going to give this because this has to be paid for. And I did not leave myself a space in my creative life to give freely, which is who I am. And so it became stressful to figure out where to draw the line. Now, I'm not talking about over functioning and over giving to the point where, you know, you're giving so much that you can't create a profit because you're just giving it all away. But I do think that I find I found the happy medium where I want to give a ton of value um, and that I still will never run out of valuable um, content resources for people who do choose to work with me in some capacity. And I just wanted to let go of this notion of no pay me, no pay me, no pay me. Don't get me wrong. Y'all know I am the queen of run me my invoice and charge higher prices. If you watched, um, one of my most recent videos, 
but I think there is a balance between how I want to give freely and then how I want to charge. And I think I needed to define that for myself and I had let the culture influence me substantially. And as a believer, I should be influencing the culture. So, um, yeah, I really wanted to get back to sowing and reaping. It just felt better. And um, so I had that conversation with my accountability partner. And listen, this is a very transparent video. Like, I hope that it's beneficial to you. Like I said, I don't have points. I have I, I don't have like bullet points, like a lesson, but I do have my notes here uh, just because I didn't want to miss anything. And this video is probably long. But listen, this is random. The videos on this channel outside of like my natural hair videos that I did years ago that are still like my top ranking videos, which is insane to me. Um, the videos that I've done like this, where I just got a few little points that I want to say, and then like, I'm just talking to y'all are my top performing videos. I get more engagement on those videos than anything else. And so I was like, maybe I should get back to that. But anyway, back to me, Marie condoing my business as a form of self care. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think the other thing is that I realized that I need to do this on some frequency. As I grow, as I change, as I mature, um, so will my desires and the way I want to live and the way I want to serve and the way I want to work will change. And so one of the things I've decided to do is make sure that I'm checking in with myself in business every six months to make sure that this is still this is still good and so this is not about giving up things that are uncomfortable because they're uncomfortable because one of the things i've had to learn in my life is that i spent so much energy and time trying to avoid discomfort discomfort that it got really uncomfortable that like trying to always find comfort made me really uncomfortable um and so just embracing being outside your comfort zone and this is this is just a random aside you know that phrase everything you want is outside your comfort zone it's real cute what they really should say so people get it is everything that you want is in your discomfort zone it's the same thing but it's just a little bit like like i think people say yeah everything you want is outside of your comfort zone it's like the zone outside of your comfort zone is the uncomfortable zone Right. So everything you want is in that uncomfortable place. So this video is not about I took things down or I'm changing things because certain things were uncomfortable. That's not my goal. It was really more so about am I serving people the best in this area? And is it an equal exchange of value? Am I am I enjoying it just as much as I, they are getting value. And if any side of that was out of whack, I cut it. Um, and so, yeah, y'all, I mean, you probably can do this in a lot of areas of your life. You can Marie Kondo, I guess, your relationships and be like, let's have a sit down and talk about what's working, what's not working, and what we need to alter, what we need to upgrade, change, fix, get support around. Um, one of the things that I, I, I realized is I need more support in my business. I have been a solopreneur for a long time. Technology has been an amazing team member. And um, and you can go really, really far. And I think that I could probably ride on for probably another year with the level of back-end systems that I have. But I think that just from a self-care standpoint, having my life supported is really moving up um to the top of the list so anyway i know this video was a little bit all over the place it probably is a little lengthy um but i feel so much lighter now i feel so much more refreshed i feel like what i'm going to be bringing to the interwebs and the internet space is just going to be a lot better and i can hold down my corner of the web a lot better by really getting back to the things that spark joy. Sorry, I just coughed. You didn't see that, but and my water is in the other room. Not a good idea, Evelyn. Anyway, so that's it. If you're not following me on my new Instagram account at the Evelyn Inc. on Instagram, I would love to connect with you over there. And this is one of the spaces where I just want to give freely. I like talking about business. I like talking about self-care. I miss doing my vlogs. 
um, for those of you who have been around for a minute. So you're going to see a little bit of changes there. These types of videos will always be here. I'm always going to give you talky talky head videos because that's I, I, I've, I've always been that. I mean, you can go back and look at some of my playlists. I've been doing this for years. I just celebrated 10 years on YouTube, which is insane to me. 10 years, sometimes consistent, sometimes not consistent. And um, I'm, I'm here to hang out for a little while and until it until it no longer serves the purpose of being a, a great creative outlet. And then I will leave then. But um, I'm here for a while, y'all. And some of my OG subscribers, you know, some of my OG YouTubers, you know, have left the space. But uh, I'm glad that you are still here. If you're new to me, welcome. Come hang out with your girl. Listen, I've got some content that may not be new, but it's still still got that heat. So check out some of the playlists, my Leaving Corporate America series, my Corporate to Care Free series, my Find Your Flavor series. Um, I've got this self-care series. I've got a business and entrepreneurship series. I got natural hair videos. I got vlogs. Like your girl has been over here doing the thing. So that's it. Thank you for your time. And let me know down below, are there some things in your life, in your business, uh, that you want to Marie Kondo and let go of. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Peace.